Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I am going to show you how to design a shift register using D flip flops. So let's open the Simul ID. Simul ID is a free electronic circuit simulator available on the internet and can be downloaded from simulid.com. So as you can see, the circuit is already connected. For this circuit, we have used the D flip flops that you will find under the logic and in under the memory D flip flop then the flip flops are connected in such a way that output of the first flip flop will drive the input of the next and for observing the outputs of each flip flop we will use the probes that you will find under the meters for giving the input we will use the fixed voltage under the source and as a clock source again we will use the fixed voltage so that we can manually control the rising and falling edges all the reset and set inputs of the flip flops are permanently connected to the VCC to avoid accidental resetting or setting of the circuit now let's start with the simulation so presently every flip flop is zero so it is in the reset state to load the new data just make input one and apply the clock pulse so as you can see the data is now available in the first flip flop and it can be observed at this probe d0 now make the input 0 and when you apply the next clock pulse you can see the data is now getting shifted from D0 to D1 similarly if you apply one more clock pulse the data will get shifted to D2 and on the fourth rising edge it will be available at the output D3 so in this design the data enters serially and will come out of your shift register in the serial format Basically, this is a serial in serial out type shift register. Now, in addition to shifting, you can make use of the set and reset inputs for making this entire shift register as 0 or 1. So, these are the two asynchronous inputs. So, you won't have to bother about the clock pulse. So, even if the clock is not applied, by changing the set input to 0 you can make all the flip flops 1 similarly if you make reset input active that means if you connect it to 0 you can make all the flip flops 0 or you can simply reset all the flip flops so these two are the asynchronous inputs when active will reset or set the entire shift register so this is how the D shift D flip flops can be used to implement the shift register. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe, like and feel free to share it with your friends. Thank you.